As an academy, our present and future have been guided by our origin story to solve the challenges of our specialty, advance medicine, and improve medical training. At the core, our purpose and our passion have always been and will continue to be our patients. Our ability to provide the best in patient care is in jeopardy. It is being impacted by increased administrative burden, a lack of systems interoperability, growing regulatory complexities, arbitrary payer decisions, and legislative challenges. To lessen the impact on patient care, we need to build on the shoulders of those who came before us to meet the challenges of today and to protect our patients, our passion. What is your vision of the future of patient care? As a mid-career physician and chair of the Private Practice Study Group, my vision is the growth of the renewed enthusiasm for the support of private practice otolaryngology. I believe that independent providers are absolutely critical to the delivery of quality NT care, and the Academy, as is evident by its unwavering support of the PPSG, will double down on its commitment to our survival. As our group becomes a section, our private practice support will grow exponentially. We will reinvigorate our members so they remember why they went into private practice, as we provide the support they need to navigate the headwinds. Most importantly, we will develop the next group of private practice leadership who will be well prepared for the challenges of independent healthcare delivery. I am excited for what we can accomplish as we move forward together. My vision is that we develop systems and new technology to further improve the quality of the healthcare we deliver. We should work with the goal of not only optimizing and personalizing care for our patients, but also addressing disparities in healthcare delivery and reducing burnout of the healthcare workforce. I think essential components of this next phase will include utilizing big data, not only within things like molecular markers of disease, but also taking input from data registries like regions and incorporating these data to design and advocate for new healthcare technology and economic models that help define and bring the concepts of value and quality to the forefront. My vision for the future of otolaryngology includes eliminating healthcare disparities among our patients. To accomplish this goal, we need to recruit, retain, and sponsor trainees that reflect our population's wonderful diversity. In addition, we need to expect culturally competent care from all of our otolaryngologists. We need to support research on healthcare disparities within our field and advocate for policies that promote equitable care for our entire population. Together, we can provide excellent, comprehensive otolaryngology care for all patients. Otolaryngology and medicine in general are evolving at a rapid pace. Clinicians are expected to deliver safe, effective, high-value, compassionate care based on best practice and evidence. Otolaryngology education in the future will need to focus on quality, safety, outcomes, diversity, team-based care, and population health. As medicine evolves, the education program of the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery will continue to change to meet the needs of our members and our specialty in general. The Academy is devoted to developing state-of-the-art educational products for the physicians and trainees of today and tomorrow. There will be a focus on products that are problem-centered, relevant, easily accessible, interactive, and engaging. I envision there being an increased use of simulation and gamification in otolaryngology education. I also envision that the Academy will increase the availability and dissemination of our educational products to an international audience in the future as we position ourselves to be the global leaders in otolaryngology education. We are AAO HNSF. Together, we have the strength, vision, and passion to make the delivery of healthcare brighter. What's your vision?